So probably the biggest challenge that we all face is to clearly define, well, just why should I participate um, or found a blockchain network? Um, and I've kind of come to the conclusion that there's one critical decision that you need to make. And that is, what are the areas of my business where, quite frankly, I just need to consume uh, a service from a blockchain network that maybe somebody else is going to build for me and somebody else is going to do the heavy lifting for? You know, there's just a whole world of pain there that the blockchain is going to remove um, for me, you know, in terms of eliminating all of those reconciliations with my business partners, giving me visibility and transparency of, of data up and down my value chain so I can take out a whole bunch of working capital, a whole bunch of risk and, uh, and, and financial capital and where I can have much more confidence in the provenance so I can charge more for an asset. Um, however, there will be other areas of your business where this is not a cost takeout, but this is a differentiating play. Where, uh, and it's certainly my opinion that this opportunity is 10 times bigger than the operational improvement opportunity. So there's a whole new world of trusted data being created at the level of a market which has never existed before, where we have fine-grained access uh, to this data to define how it's going to be monetized uh, and where we can govern who controls uh, and, and, uh, and who owns that data and how it's monetized. So the decisions that you can make here can drive whole new business models, can drive whole new value propositions, whole new innovations. Um, and if you combine that shared data on the network with your own private data, you can drive a real differentiating play. Mm -hmm. You know, so here, participation in a network becomes highly strategic because this is about growing new business models and, and new market models. Um, however, there is a third layer to the cake, um, and this is the one that gets me most excited, because understand what we're doing here. We are creating new types of businesses and new types of companies that look more like um, a network. Um, you know, for example, identity. You know, right now, it's real hard to try and work out um, identity to drive business transactions. The information is solid all over the place. You go to a website, you don't know whether the data is good or not. Imagine a world where that identity or that provenance of an asset, for example, um, that life cycle of an asset is available as a service on the Internet. Every time you want to know the identity of, 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 of a person, of a company, of a thing, Every time you want to know the provenance of an asset, you just plug in consumer service on the Internet and with total 100% trust and certainty, you know that information is good. Can you imagine the value of that protocol? Can you imagine the sum of all of those microtransactions where every business transaction anywhere in the world wanting to know that information comes to your network and you get a cut of that income? You know, this is maybe a hundred times bigger opportunity than the mere operational improvement. And you need to decide where are the areas of my marketplace where I need to have a share of the revenue of the new networked economy.